hey everyone welcome back so i hope you guys had a good weekend we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video so today i'm gonna be using new kimber's creation colors as well as this deals de los muertos decals from poshi i'm gonna be using this little um one with like the blue flowers and stuff this is my extra sheet so i'm gonna go ahead and actually cut the one out from my sheet that i already cut out of So I decided to push my video back a day or forward a day um, because today is actually the first day of Dia de los Muertos. It is from my Mexican heritage. I am half Mexican, half Puerto Rican. So I wanted to actually just set this video out on the day of the first day of the Dia de los Muertos as well as because Kimber's Creations new collection actually comes out today. And I will be using um, three of the new colors. This one right here is the thermal color. It's called Typhoon. So it goes from like a minty kind of green to like a turquoise teal kind of green. Now her new collection actually does come out at 10 a.m. Central Time. So if you're on the East Coast, ladies, that's 11 o'clock my time. Um, the rest of the collection, for example, her um, exclusive collection comes out in the 8th. I will be doing a live in her Facebook group. I will be linking her Facebook group down below so you guys can join if you guys haven't already joined. Because I will be showcasing and doing some swatches of like the new um, exclusive colors. And then right after my live, that's when the exclusive colors get released. Now, there's only a 100 of those. So it's basically first come, first serve, and you had to have quick fingers. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up because, like I said, it's only a 100 of the exclusive collection. So a big heads up you guys, I am also using Kimber's Creation liquids. If you guys are on the market for some slow drying liquids, these are like super thin. They're really easy to work with and like I said, they are slow drying. I appreciate a good slow drying liquid because it gives me a chance to clean up around my cuticle. Um, and her top coat is really easy to use as well. Um, like the brush doesn't harden or anything like that. So again, if you guys are in the market for some good dip liquids, make sure you guys go ahead and try out these Kimber Creation ones. So right here, you guys, I'm actually just applying my white dip powder for my decal. Um, I'm just using like a mix that I made of like different whites that I like. But I honestly should have used like a glow white, um, like a, a dip powder that's white and then that glows. Um, it just, I feel like those are better for decals. They just make the mani pop. Um, but I thought about it after the fact and I was already in motion. But I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up for you guys. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hop into the next color. Okay, so the next color up is called Crushed Rose, and this is like a mauve color. I decided to do it on my pinky and on my thumb. So you guys, if you watch my previous videos, you guys know my application. I like to do it three-fourths of the way up, do the pour-over method, and then do two full coats of the color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now on my pinky, and then I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch on my thumb, and then I'll pop back in in a minute.
Okay, so now it's time to activate. You guys know I like to activate in between my layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the glitter. The glitter is my favorite part. This one is so pretty, you guys. This one is called Baroness. And this one actually looks like, I don't know, it has like mauve glitters as well as rose and like kind of like light rose gold glitters in it. I don't know, it's like really, really pretty, and it matches so good next to this mauve color, uh, next to um, crushed rose. It just went so perfect and it actually went so good with the decals like all the colors ended up blending with the decal so i was actually really excited about this um manny once i got done all right so what i'm doing is i'm gonna go ahead and do three-fourths of the way up for my first layer i'm gonna go ahead and clean around my cuticle as i always do but for my glitters i like to press down a little bit before i move down to my next layer after that that's when i end up dusting off the excess um like the glitter around my nail What I like to do is I like to show you the cupcake liner a little bit just to bring up any of the chunkier glitters up to the surface so they can apply to my nail. Since I'm laying it down into the cupcake liner, I kind of want to pick up those chunkier glitters and shards to um to onto my nail so you can have like a better application at the end for like pictures and things like that. So that's why I like to shimmy up the cupcake liner. So here we're going in for the second layer. I'm going to go ahead and tap off the excess, clean around the cuticle tap down uh, with my finger the glitters again and then we're going to go ahead and dust off the excess glitter Okay, so since we're using glitter, we're going to have to clear cap our glitter. This is for when you file and buff, you don't file and buff the colors off of your glitter. It also protects um, the glitter as well and keeps the in integrity of the colors. What I'm doing is I'm putting a full layer of my dip base. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and lay my finger into the jar and make that dip base kind of soak up as much clear as it can. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and activate my last finger. All the other ones are, have already been activated. I am going to go ahead and file and buff off camera because um, I was kind of like off shot while I was filing a buff in and didn't notice. So here we are after everything is filed and buffed. Now we're actually ready to apply the decal. Like I said, this is the one that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my gel base first. I am going to apply a thin layer of that on my ring finger. So I want to make sure that the layer is not only thin but also bubble and lint free because you want a smooth application. Because if you if there's like any bubbles or lint and then you cure it, it's going to feel a little bit rigid on it. So that's why you want to make sure that your application of your gel is smooth. I'm just going to cure it only for 30 seconds. You don't need it that long. While I'm doing that, I'm actually going to go ahead and pop my decal in the um, my little water jar here after the 30 seconds it should be done it doesn't need it that long right here i'm just uh taking off the excess water i'm gonna go ahead and flip it onto my stamper take that white part off and then kind of take off any other excess water if there is some i like to use my stamper because it kind of helps me place it um straight onto my nail and kind of like more flat so right here, I'm just going to just basically tapping all the wrinkles out. Sometimes it has wrinkles, sometimes it doesn't. I like to use my fingers just to tap out the wrinkles. Do have some excess um, decal hanging out on my nail. So I only need a little bit of my um, acetone and I am using my a Poshi decal cleanup tool. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that to the edges. This also helps the decal kind of hug and adhere to the nail. Um, so that's why I always let it have just a little bit hanging off just so I can use the acetone to make it hug the nail a little bit more.
Okay, now we're ready for our gel top coat. And it's the same concept as our gel base. You wanna make sure that um, you have a smooth application. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my first application. The only thing with this, I'm only gonna flash cure it for about 15 to 30 seconds um, because I'm gonna go ahead and apply two layers of my gel top coat. So I decided to use my dip top coat for the rest of the nails. So right here, I'm just applying my second layer of activator. I do let this sit for about a minute or so. Once I do that, I'm gonna take a lint-free wipe with some alcohol on it and just take off any excess activator off. And this also helps from not contaminating your dip top coat as well as hardening your dip top coat brush. So for my first layer, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to do the least amount of swoops or swipes onto my nail, but you wanna make sure that you have enough liquid onto your brush that makes it cover the entire nail. So I don't know if you guys can tell that my nail is kind of textured a little bit. That's when you can tell it's ready for the second coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and start for my thumb again. For this layer, you could be more intricate. You can go a little bit more slower and this is also where you wanna cap your edges, like your free edge. I don't do it because I am gonna be changing my manis. You guys know like every two, three days, but for the, those girls who wanna keep it for like two to three weeks, make sure you cap your free edge because that's very important because sometimes you can also have this lifting at that part of the nail. Okay, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and add some cuticle oil. Today, I'm using Scales of a Mermaid, and I actually just got this scent, you guys. It's called Plum Perfect, and oh my gosh, it's so yummy. It smells so good. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my cuticle areas, and then I'm going to go ahead and rub that into my entire like fingernail and all that stuff, just to make sure it's incorporated into my skin and, and putting hydration back into my skin. All right, you guys, and this is our final result, and I am pretty happy with it. I love it. So don't forget to comment and subscribe, you guys. I will see you later. Bye.